Okay, so today we're going to do the chapter 3 question bank. So I'll just go through the questions quickly. So suppose 10% of the items produced of the machine are defective. Suppose 5 items are chosen at random. This tells you it's a binomial distribution. 5 items chosen at random. So you pretty much know your N uh, will be 5. Okay, find the probability that Okay, so the number of items produced by a machine that are defective. So you would have um, basically 10% uh, of the items produced are defective. Therefore, 0 0.1 number of items are defective. Then you just calculate as per usual. This should be no problem. Okay, next slide. Question 2. The number of uh, bacteria per milliliter of liquid is 2. That means 1 milliliter is 2. Okay, assuming it follows a Poisson distribution, find the protein that in one milliliter. Why have I highlighted these two? Because they are both same, so you don't need to change. You just write your event number of uh, milliliter per liquid, and then you write your Poisson distribution, and you just calculate as usual. So no issues here as well. Question three: In a particular factory with a large number of workers, thirty-five percent belong to A, fifty-five B. Balance do not. So a random sample of six, this tells you is binomial distribution. They've already given you the num sample, the N. Okay, so you can see six. In this question, they want you to calculate number of workers of trade union A. Therefore, your event will be number of members of trade union A. Okay, with the N of six and the P you follow for A. Can you see that? 35%. Okay, so they want not more than two, less or equals to two. You just calculate, shouldn't be a problem. Question 4, 10% of the fishes caught of genetic marker QQ in the sample of 20, this tells you is binomial distribution. Number of fishes with the genetic marker of QQ, N is 20, P 0.1. And you calculate everything as usual, only the last one will be a little different. At least 80% will not have genetic marker QQ. So number of fishes that will not have genetic marker QQ, it will be N still 20, your P will be 0 0.9 because 0 0.1 will have, will not have will be 0 0.9. So if they want at least 80%, at least 80% of 20, if you take 0 0.8 times 20, you will get 16. So at least 80% is 16 or more. 16 or more will be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 0 0.95, 69. Of course, you can do it the other way around if some of you want. Okay, but this question, you don't really need to rewrite your event and distribution. So you don't worry about that. Next one, Poisson distribution, four reports a day. Okay, so they want number of reports a day, quite easy. So you just... Not nothing to change here. At least two reports a day, no report a day, just calculate using a Poisson distribution. At least two reports in two consecutive days. So when you see the word consecutive, basically you don't need to change your lambda. No changing lambda, you will still use the same uh, distribution. Okay, so you'll find the property of at least two reports in a day first, which you have already done here. So quite easy. So you just take these, and you are powered it to two. Why power it to two? Because they say two consecutive days. Meaning it's going to repeat two days in a row. If they say three consecutive days, power of three. Four consecutive days, power of four. Okay? So then you should be able to get the answer after you power it. Okay? At least five reports in two days. Now this one, the word consecutive is not there. Therefore, you have to change the lambda. So, lambda. so you rewrite your event number of reports in two days. Okay, the poison now will be four because initially in a day is, uh, in a day was four, now will be eight because two days. Then you find at least five reports, you should be able to get the answer. All right. 